All right, guys, this is salt and pepper, really combining a single leg RDL with a rope. So really, what most, most people are gonna be doing it like this. So you put the, the leg that you're using the most forward, that other toe is just gonna be right behind the heel, slightly bent. You don't wanna see a big separation. And what you're gonna be doing is after you make that initial lift, you're gonna push the hips back to get that weight down instead of bending your lower back. My chest is still out. I'm not rounding my shoulder blades and the weight is coming back towards this heel. It's not really reaching out forward. That's gonna put a lot of tension on the back. You also notice that makes you round the shoulder blade. Chest out in this position, you row, let it drop, and then lift back up with the hamstrings. So it's back, push your hips back, row it, let it drop back down, and then back up. So really it's two separate movements and you are combining those movements and really focusing on the form and technique. So a lot of people will get here in the row and then try and come up at the top. Don't want to see any of that. If you want to make this move more advanced, it creates a lot, it, it, it have, takes a lot of balance, but you kick the one leg back, you row, drop it down, and then come back up. That's a way you can advance that movement for somebody that is very technical, very athletic, and wants to add a little more stability in, a little more core work into the movement. That is salt and pepper.